Welcome to Area 51 from Atari, an old game, an interesting game, a classic game, and to celebrate this we've got a brand new subscribe button in the central screen that's just disappeared. Did you notice that? If you subscribed already, thank you very much. If you haven't, why not click on that button to help us out? Anyway, we're going to put a coin into here. If you don't know who we are, we are the gentlemen, and we play games rather badly at times. So here we are, we're starting Area 51, we're using MAME to play this, we can walk ahead or we can get in. I've got to have a little bit of practice to remind myself how to play. It's a mouse game using main. And we're going to have ammo that's going to appear down here. And boom, off we go. Right, so you shoot the bad guys and you shoot off screen to reload your ammo. If you um, shoot off uh, the ammo boxes here, at times your clip will get a little bit higher, a little bit bigger for one of the better world, so you've got more ammo available to kill these beasties. It's a... I suppose a full motion video game um, uh, that we've got here going, uh, going on. That's the next color is up. A full motion video game we've got playing here where it streams the video off the off, off the disc and it's basically a game that runs on rails so we can't really choose where we want to go. You know, the movement is controlled by uh, the computer for us, but what we can do is choose where we want to shoot this. The one thing we are in control of is this little cursor that you've got here. It would, it would, come on, damn. It would be so much easier if you could right click to do a reload, but no, 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 you've got to shoot on the screen. This was a game where you had real guns that you could point and do things as well. Well, real light guns, because, you know, there would be carnage if you gave kids real guns in arcades, it would not have worked well at all. What weapon is that? What weapon is that? Right, oh, oh, didn't get rid of you. Holy reload. hell. Alright, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone. Alright, as it's streaming, it can be jittery. This was never the fastest of games to play. It really, really wasn't. It was a fun game, but we died. So let's put another coin in. And we're gonna go again. We are gonna go again. You know, we might as well get a few coins in while they keep showing you the same thing. But yeah, you know, I think this was on the PlayStation if I recall. I've certainly played it on other systems that haven't been made. Um, and it's always been a fun shooter. And you know, in my mind sometimes I'll probably confuse the areas and get confused with time crisis because I played that a lot on the PlayStation. But no, we've completed the first area with very bad accuracy. Look at that, 58. Kill 34, streak 12. So, can we do better? We know we can't. Like, oh, I nearly shot her. Okay, we've got a power up there, which is pretty good. Shoot the barrels to make nice... Oh, damn it. Shoot the barrels to make nice bits happen. And you'll notice you have all these blue star people. Oh, damn it. I think it's called Star. Well, it's less of an evil, um, but a different star. Um, and they run across the screen at the wrong moment. Oh, he died, he died as well. If you want a really good shooting experience, by the way, on, on what is this? Why are you doing that? Why are you throwing barrels at me? Like, more money goes in. Um, if you want a really good shooting experience on the PS1, they did Die Hard, and Die Hard had a, had a great, great, great session where you were in basically an airport doing lots of wonderful things with uh, light guns, and it worked so, so well. Uh, the gameplay never translated that well to um, the PS1 controller, which was a bit of a shame. But if you had a light gun for it, it really, really was good. Alright, okay. But enough of that. Let's talk about this game. This game has a couple of different versions as well. Maybe it had a maximum version or maximum version. It was available. I don't really know what the difference are. Um, this is the only one I have available to me at the moment. I might have trouble for that at some point. Maybe it was two games in one. But yeah, these retro graphics, yeah, this is what games used to be like back in the day. You know, and you look at some of the current, you look at some of the current light guns like games, and you get like, I think you've got Aliens Extermination, or Aliens uh, something, it's on, it's on Techno Power. Um, oh my god, things have come a very long way from this. But I just want to show you an old classic here. Alright, I'm going to put more money in, because money is free on this channel when we do this. Apologies yesterday about no video. Um, you know, 
I can't you always know. get them done every single night. Like, once in a while, you know, I do miss them. I do try my best to give you a daily dose of me retro gaming. Sometimes I will do it. Oh my god, look at this. The accuracy went down. Sometimes I will do videos um, in bulk where I'll make a few of them once and have a backlog. But no, I have, I have nothing for you, so I'm so sorry about that. But we've got this one for today. Oh, I nearly killed the blue guy. Oh, ammo. Right, shoot that. And he's been blowing him up. Shit. Stress, stress. Where are you getting all those barrels from? Oh, can you imagine? You put your money in this in arcade and you play it and your goings go down that quickly. This is nearly as bad as playing Dragon's Lair when you don't know what you're doing. Alright, so we're in the worst warehouse you ever want to be. Bad guys keep popping up from nowhere. There's power up there. Yes, that's good. So the power up is basically so shotgun shells that you can see there. Alright, they're working quite well. We must have filled with enemies. So that I waste them and run out. 14 Street there as well. Oh, I did run out on its own. Who's for that? Who's for that? Reload, reload, reload. Yes, lots of reloading. Alright, this bit I always get transposed in my mind with Time Crisis, because Time Crisis has got this uh, little platform bit quite early on as well. Very similar to this. And, you know, sometimes. Sometimes you think about the wrong things when you play games once in a while. Alright, okay, so more coins go in. But you know, I have played this a fair bit in the past, and I used to know where the enemies would be as well. And you could just do slow, gentle movements of the mouse to kill them. You know, a nice controlled event like when I had the shotgun stuff going on. Oh, I tried to shoot that tire and miss. Alright. Review two guys. You know that other guy, my little friend that I'm with, is absolutely useless. He doesn't seem to be doing anything as we go on this journey. Like, right, shoot you, blow that, blow that. Get rid of you. Off the screen again we go. We've got one health left, so it won't be long before. Oh, I missed the power. It won't be long before we're doing this all again. Okay, the grenade will blow up a lot of enemies when you shoot it, but clearly not in this case. So let's put another couple of credits in. Off we go. Oh, die, damn it. You know, Jack Bauer would never have all these problems. Speaking of Jack Bauer, I know he's not real. I've started watching the early 24 um, TV series again. You know, the first season of it. And my god, you forget how good that was. That was a phenomenal series of um, the early one. It did get a little bit silly as later seasons happened, but no, that's a good one. And where are you coming from on your ropes? Well, exit. Yes, exit. We are free. So, 43, that's better. So we went 50, 30 odd, and now 40 odd. And this, this is because of the shotgun we did so well. Well, that didn't last long, did it? Yes, we've got to go. Alright, driving se section now, I believe. These are the most well-armed bad guys you could ever want with driving licenses. Purple ones, it's the purple guys are the real tough guys. I want my uh, the, the, the shotgun shells, I want them back. Well, 
Like, how did that blow up that green guy and not him? Oh, more money. More money. I'm going to be broke by the end of this video. Oh. Actually, I am broke today already. So, I had the nasty experience of having uh, my car MOT'd. Hurry up, hurry up. I had the nasty experience of having my car MOT'd and it passed all my contract over the advisory fee got. And I'm nearly 800 quid down today than what I was how the day started. So, yeah, it's been a bit of a disappointing financially expensive day for me. Oh, I missed that, I missed that as well. Oh, I shoot that? Oh, I think I need to get in that helicopter. There we go. Up we go. Glorious. Did I smack into the wall as I was hanging on to that ladder? I don't know. I really don't know. Right, let's go again. Okay, this is where the aliens get a little bit spicy and look a little bit more like aliens. Reload, 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 reload. Oh, that's good. He punched me in the nuts. All right. Reload, reload. Well, it's suddenly got very hard. I think I can shoot the fire extinguisher as well. There you go. Oh, I'm sorry for your loss. Yes, power ups, my shotgun shells, my beauties. Oh, it doesn't matter if they run out of fear, they didn't last long at all. They lost the ages in the warehouse. He is sack of crap. And that looks like he's got a face there where his nuts should be. Look at their groin. Look at their groin. <laughs> There's a photo on the desk. Look at that, look at look at their groin. It's like you've got two eyes here and there. Alright, okay. Off we go again. The purple ones are so strong. You know what? There's a film called Return of the Living Dead. Um, and Return of the Living Dead 2 as well. Um, on the Return of the Living Dead and their comedy horrors, uh, they didn't take themselves very seriously. I believe they nuked the city. Um, and then they wanted to make Return of the Living Dead 2. And they had a bit of a problem where actually they killed everybody. So you basically had the same actors playing different roles in the sequel. It was very, very good. But I did like the first one. I did like the first one a lot. But Atari needs to say, oh no, I'm sorry, I shot you. Atari needs to take a lesson um, from what happened there and just nuke, nuke this bloody place. All right, let's put another coin in. You know what? We're going to put four credits in. Let's see how far we go. Power up. Oh, fools. These stars people are just useless, they just get in the way everywhere. Oh, I nearly shot him there. Okay, well, we're back to the crap gun again. Blow that, shoot that off. Oh, power up. How can I miss that? And where did it go? It wasn't there when I came back. Those punchy Michael Jackson no, looking ones are no. not very friendly. Reload, reload. Reload, reload. Well, my streak is going to be possible here. Of course I would, that's a sensible thing to be doing here, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. This was also a two-player game as well. So if you had a friend, you could play this with them. Very ancient lift there going up there. All right, so we've got three more credits to play. Okay, 44%, so we're probably where we were before. Okay, well that ended quickly, didn't it? <laughs> Oh, we might be near the end, we might be near the end, you know, but 
We might keep on playing it, we might keep on playing it until we go through. I need her to tell me how long self-struck is. When is it going to go? One health left down there. Reload, reload. Alright, okay. More money. One credit left. I think we will play to the edge actually. We might as well. We might as well see how long it is. Well, that went quite quick, didn't it? That went quite quick. 55% of the lap. So we're improving. Look, the crash saucer is there. Without the cursor there, you'd got absolutely poly try to complete this. Oh, ah. oh you cheeky man, and you. You, know, you would think you would see them crawling along the ground to watch you. This is what I could have done with a grenade. Look at this! Lots of things to blow up. Oh, start again. We've got to put some more credits here because we are going to go all the way, I think. Reload, reload. Reload, reload. Reload, reload. No, if this was real life, I'd just give up and die. Yes, they are everywhere. Reload, reload, reload. Reload, reload, reload. Reload, reload. Reload, reload. Reload, reload. Reload, reload. And we are gone. We are gone. Really be just to reload, run away from reload, his bloody base. Reload. Yes, reload, I know. Reload, reload. You know, my shooting skills now are like a small child running through a shopping centre with a gun firing wildly. You know, I'm doing way more misses than anything else. You know, I'm gonna, I reckon I'm gonna have maybe 30%, if not. Oh, 46, okay. Um, I really thought I was a lot worse than that. There we go, run towards the wall, and the wall opens up into more things to shoot. Okay, we're going back to the aliens again now. We're going back to the aliens again now. So I wish I could have a grenade. And there is my grenade. Right, blow you up. You might have noticed that there's, uh, there's an alien ship there on the screen at the moment. Reload, reload, reload. I can reload. shoot bits of it as well. You see, you see the damage happening. Um, the white right, the front of the Reload, reload, reload. Reload, 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 reload. Now we're close to the ship. Credits are forever. Reload, reload. 
Mission Fire, you have failed in your objective to contain the alien infestation. As a result, the entire human species is threatened by the alien invasion. Mankind's continued dominance. Uh, so, well, something happened. It ran out there. Alright, so what happens now? Because I've still got life left. Alright, so what it's done is it's taken us back to... The, you know, the warehouse bit. You know what? We'll, 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 play, we'll, we'll play this anyway. No, no. No. Reload, reload. Right. And that, that is how it ended. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is Area 51, a very, very old game. You know, it came out obviously sometime after Operation Wolf because, you know, you remember those light games, uh, light gun games, or not light gun games, but, you know, gun games for want of a better word here. Um, I believe that it would have come out after Operation Thunderbolt as well. This was effectively the next wave where you had full motion video type games that you could play. But yeah, I've had a bit of fun playing that, you know. It's, um, I, I'm nowhere near as good as what I should be at it. I have enabled mankind to be destroyed. So my one hope is that you will be here for the next video and the aliens don't get you. Goodbye.